We live in the age of information. But learning, truly learning, is not about how much you consume. It's about how much you retain, understand, and apply. Whether you want to learn a new language, a digital skill, or simply remember more of what you read, this video will show you how to learn anything faster using simple cognitive techniques backed by science. Let's get into it. The first principle is spaced repetition, the opposite of cramming. Instead of trying to memorize everything in one sitting, space your review over time. Day one, learn it. Day three, review it. Day seven, reinforce it. Day 14, test yourself again. This taps into something called the spacing effect. Your brain encodes information more deeply when it has to recall it after forgetting slightly. Apps like Anki, Remnote, and even Notion templates can automate this for you. The second principle is active recall, learning by retrieving, not rereading. Most people highlight notes and reread them over and over. But this is passive. Your brain gets bored and you don't retain anything. Instead, close your book, hide your notes, and ask yourself, what did I just learn? Can I explain it out loud? If not, great, that's your signal to go deeper. Testing yourself, even when you get it wrong, makes the memory stronger. Third principle, interleave practice, mix your learning. Instead of practicing the same type of problem or topic over and over, rotate between different types. This creates mental friction, which is actually good. Your brain has to work harder to distinguish concepts, which leads to deeper learning. Example, if you're learning design, alternate between typography, layout, and color theory, rather than drilling just one at a time. Fourth principle, chunking. Break big ideas into smaller pieces. Your brain loves patterns. Instead of trying to memorize a list of 20 facts, group them into four to five categories. Create mental structures, frameworks, or mind maps. This turns overwhelm into clarity and clarity into long-term memory. Tools like Notion, Milanote, or Obsidian are great for visual chunking. Fifth principle, make it interactive. We learn best when we're engaged. Use AI tutors, quiz generators, or explain concepts to ChatGPT and see how it responds. Teaching others is one of the fastest ways to learn something yourself. The moment you can explain a concept in your own words, you own it. Sixth principle, connect it to something you already know. Learning is not storing. It's connecting. If you're learning how blockchain works, relate it to how a public ledger functions. If you're studying memory techniques, tie it to something you've actually experienced. Analogies are powerful. Metaphors stick. Always ask yourself, what does this remind me of? Seventh principle. Define your why before your how. Learning without a goal is like running without a destination. Are you learning to get a new job, to start a business, to teach others? When the purpose is clear, the focus follows. Write your learning goal at the top of your notes. Remind yourself regularly, why does this matter? Eighth principle. Control your input to amplify your output. Constant switching between apps, notifications, and tabs destroys deep learning. If you want to absorb new knowledge, reduce the noise. Try a distraction blocker. Set a 25-minute timer. Keep your phone out of sight. Learning is not just a brain process. It's an attention process. And finally, learn less more often. 
Don't try to binge an entire course in one weekend. Instead, learn in small, consistent sessions. 20 minutes a day for 30 days beats four hours once a week. This builds momentum and turns learning into a habit, not a struggle. So if you're serious about learning faster, here's your three-part formula. Make it active. Make it personal. Make it consistent. This isn't just about studying. It's about building a smarter brain, one decision at a time. And the best part, you don't need more time. You need better methods. Welcome to Next Mindset, and I'll see you in the next one.